Gran Turismo 7 has one of the greediest game designs ever. From the low payouts to the expensive cars and don't even get me started on that. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. I know almost everyone here has played Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, the pay to win online service game of the decade. Or just grind a lot, insanely high prices trying to parody real life, terrible pay for time consuming missions. Does it sound familiar? Like GTA, Gran Turismo 7 is an amazing game flawed by its terrible economy and greedy developers or publishers. They say they want it to reflect real life prices which seems kind of cool at first Do you remember how bad our car economy is in real life. So they just raise the price of everything and use that as an excuse. Shit's expensive. With it being way more pricey for subjectively boring cars and just in general you'd think the payouts would be better. The only decent payouts are on story mode championship which get old fast. Find some really grindy race, make a decent amount of money through the occasional sport mode time trial or do what they want you to do and buy credits with money literally every time you make a purchase they ask if you want to top it off it's honestly pretty annoying they just shove it in your face any chance they get it's crazy the legendary category per se has some of the most subjectively boring cars for the most absurd prices in the entire game i know they said they're trying to reflect real life but you gotta be a real collector if you want to get it it's ridiculous and the used car lot is a bit dumb in my opinion as well only because there are certain cars that you got to get in there and not in brands central because it's just not there i don't like that one of the perks of racing games is the fact that you can drive really rare cars and then they make that even harder for us i don't really like it whoa calm down jamal don't pull out the knife sometimes they push the realism aspect way too far we just want realistic handling and racing and all that we don't need all this and i haven't even brought up the roulette ticket dopamine feed after every race is insane just to kill your hopes for the 800th time when you only get 5,000 credits i don't even need to say much about this i think everyone hates it and thinks it's rigged and they keep the community from one of the most interesting parts of the game engine swaps <laughs> They make it so hard to get engine swap, you can get some from collection category in the cafe or do certain races in the cafe for it, but other than that, there's not really much you can do at all. I've gotten really lucky once and got an engine out of a four-star ticket, but that's about it. And that says a lot because I have a lot of time in this game. So I know people that don't have a lot of time in this game maybe have one if they're lucky. So that's just not right. It's just not fair. It's ridiculous. But with that whole payout thing on the races, they even tried to update it and cover their ass about like a month or two after the game came out because they had so many complaints. And from what I remember, they barely even did anything. I think it just made people more mad. All that grinding just to get a 20 million car from the 50s that only goes 40 miles an hour. Well, it would maybe be worth it if we could put a really cool engine in it. Oh, wait. You can't do it! If you're gonna make prices insane, you need to make payouts decent. And with this being a live service game, you think maybe they reward online play better because it's harder dealing with real people and all that? Nope. Online pay is awful. Ask anyone who does it. You can do like a 10 lap race, which of course, depending on the track, could take you about 20 minutes, maybe less, maybe more, and you might get 20 to 40k credits to round the ballpark. I may be a bit off, but it's terrible, genuine. Polyphony needs to stop being so greedy with all of this. Money, 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 money. So I wanted to say it was Sony doing all the greedy stuff, but the way it's so integrated in the game is crazy. The whole top it off feature says a lot in of itself. Doubtful, but hopefully they'll come to their senses and make the game less grindy in one way or another. You never know, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, sub, above all, have a very good day.